I chose George Mason because it's not just an academically challenging school, but it's very unique in terms of its connections with other scientific organizations. The trend of science research, especially in the last decade, is that it's gone from being species-driven to being question-driven. Our study is a population genetic study with the trumpeter and tundra swan. Their breeding ranges have now overlapped because of this change in the plant community because of climate change. Climate change has caused a lot of expansion of the boreal forest in certain areas of Alaska. And so our study is to look at whether they're actively reproducing in the wild. My aha moment, this is what I want to do, didn't really happen as an undergraduate. Or, or it, the first step was, was far before that time. I knew when I was in fifth grade that I wanted to work with wildlife on some level. As I got into high school, that never really changed, and I knew always that this was a passion of mine. But I sort of always imagined myself just as a wildlife biologist. I didn't really know what to picture. And in college, I have an undergraduate degree in wildlife management. That made me start to look at the different programs, what was available, what programs stood out, and George Mason was one of the first programs that was suggested to me by someone in the conservation genetics field and then looking into it and finding Dr. Edwards and how his research interests coincided so well with what I wanted to do and what I wanted to look at. It fit perfectly with what I wanted to do and what I was passionate about. Has that been used to resolve uh, phylogenetic relationships in other groups of birds? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the first thing that comes out is that she's very passionate about conservation biology. And conservation biology is, in particular, you know, in science, is a field where that is uh, of ultimate importance. The summer ranges are, are quite distinct. Yeah. The swans presented a unique opportunity. There's the aspect of organism that's in, in particular conservation peril. There are questions related to global climate change, questions related to evolution, and, and these are the types of, of questions that I've been working on in my lab for a better part of 15 years. If you're thinking about coming to George Mason to work in environmental science and policy, you're going to have uh, access to uh, leaders in the field. We have excellent lab facilities, we have excellent faculty that are well respected in their fields. And policy component, you have faculty members that have experience in international policy or local policy, how government decisions are implemented on local levels, and that's not something that you commonly have at a school. So it's going to be an excellent stepping stone into the career that I'll have in environmental science and policy.